What's going on guys? Austin here. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the extra points lines of the week. So um, my first bet that I'd like to make is Rams minus two and a half at the Seahawks. First of all, the Rams always go to Seattle and win. I think it's, I mean, I think it's some silly number, like, like five out of the last seven times they've gone to Seattle. Uh, they've come away with the win. Uh, a two and a half point line is not enough. Uh, I think that betters are just overreacting from getting blown out by the Cardinals, who uh, admittedly did blow out the Rams, but the Seahawks are not the Rams. Or the Seahawks are not the Cardinals, rather. Uh, the Seahawks do one thing well. The Cardinals right now are doing everything well. Uh, and two and a half, uh, that's just, that's not a big enough, uh, that's not a big enough line for me to think I need to take Seattle. My next bet is Packers minus three at Cincinnati. Um, Bengals offense is doing really well. And if both teams had the same defense, I might be tempted to take Cincinnati uh, plus three. But since we're dealing with Cincinnati's awful defense going up against Aaron leaping Rogers, I want to take this minus three. I'd, I'd probably take the Packers to win by a touchdown. Patriots minus eight and a half at the Texans. Uh, I normally don't like taking big line favorites on the road, but uh, so far taking favorites on the road is what I do best. Um, New England's defense is something that is going to be uh, a problem for Davis Mills. Bill Belichick is a lot of wins to very, very few losses. Overall, I think it's something like 30 and one, 30 and two maybe against rookie quarterbacks. Um, Davis Mills will be no exception. Um, Patriots take away what you do best, which right now has been Brandon Cooks. And J.C. Jackson, I'm sure, will blanket him. And then the rest of that Patriots defense, Matthew Judon, they're going to have their day uh, getting to Davis Mills. I like the Panthers minus three and a half against the Eagles. Uh, the Panthers with a revamped defense. C.J. Henderson in the building. Stephon Gilmore in the building. Uh, Sam Darnold. And um, DJ Moore are clicking at an unbelievable level. Uh, they have yet to get Robbie Anderson into the game plan, which I think might just be because uh, Robbie Anderson reminds Sam Darnold of the Jets, and he doesn't want that PTSD yet. Even without Christian McCaffrey, the Panthers' offense is better than the Eagles, and their defense is levels above the Eagles. I like the Broncos plus one at the Steelers, which means that I think the Broncos are going to tie, which is unlikely, but I think they're going to beat the Steelers in Pittsburgh. Uh, the reason for this is, I mean, their pass defense, their run defense um, are both uh, performing at a very high level, even up against the uh, Baltimore Ravens. It took that last kneel down five yard run to get that hundred yards for the day, which is something that's a little bit of a contentious topic right now in the NFL, but uh, Broncos plus one at the Steelers. I'll be happy to take that underdog on the road. And then the Chargers minus one and a half versus the Browns. I think there's respect for the Browns uh, running game that hasn't been producing as well this year. And I think this is respect for the Browns defense. Um, Chargers have yet to play a super elite defense this year. They played Washington, which uh, is an awful defense so far this year. They played Dallas, who wasn't really good up until recently played Kansas city. who's was an atrocious defense. And then the Raiders who had been playing well, but I guess if the Raiders play well next week, then maybe it was just the chargers offensive line pushing them around. Um, but the chargers have too much talent compared to the Browns uh, with a much better quarterback. And uh, they're, they've got more chemistry right now, but these are my lines. I like the Rams. Uh, minus two and a half on the road against Seattle. The Packers uh, minus three at Cincinnati. Patriots minus eight and a half at Houston. Panthers minus three and a half at home against the Eagles. Broncos plus one at Steelers. And the Chargers one and a half point favorites at home. There's no really home games for the Chargers, but at home against the Browns.